Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this video, we're going to look at the spot removal tool inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on my website. And please join us in our private Facebook group. I offer weekly live Q&A videos. They're a lot of fun. The link is below. I photographed my friend Samantha's maternity session a few weeks ago. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, this is what she really looks like. <laughs> but let's take a look at the before photo. So this is the photo straight out of the camera. And then there it is with corrections. So the first thing I would like to do is apply my image perfector preset. I have a link to this preset below. I'm just going to click that in order to improve the tonality, apply lens correction, reduce noise, and sharpen the image. I'm going to scroll down to the lens correction panel and I'm going to click the auto upright tool because I noticed that this is on a slight angle, a tilt, and I don't like it. And there, that leveled the crib and the trim looks nice and straight now. Then I'm going to press Q on my keyboard in order to access the spot removal tool. And I'm going to put this feather up a little bit. The size, let's increase the size with the right bracket key. And I'm going to brush over the thermostat and let Lightroom choose a source. And that's pretty good, but you know what? I'm actually going to move the source up to here. And then I'm going to click and drag over the light switch. That source probably looks pretty good. I'm going to press H to hide those overlays, those pins, to make sure I'm going in a good direction. And now let's work on the vent up here. Just brush over it with the spot removal tool. This is a pretty big removal. I'm gonna press H because I wanna see where Lightroom grabbed that source from, and that looks pretty good. Let me move it down just a little bit. Q in order to drop that tool. Let's look at that before and after already going in a really good direction. Now the wall behind her looks a little bit green to me and I happen to know because I was there that the wall is not green. It's this beautiful warm gray. So something is a little off with the color balance. So I'm going to pull up on the tint a little bit. Whoop, and then as you pull up, you're like, Ooh, not that far and up on the temperature just to see how that's uh, and see, I'm not, I'm not digging it. I don't think that the wall looks like it actually was. And I think what I'm gonna do is stack a few adjustments here. So I'm gonna press K on my keyboard in order to access my adjustment brush. I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on the keyboard and click Reset to reset that tool. I'm gonna to pull up on the exposure and down on the saturation and see if I can improve this wall a little bit. And that's looking a little bit better but I think I'm gonna pull down on the saturation a little bit more. Now, I don't wanna take the saturation down too far or it's really gonna to start to look too gray, but I wanna take it down quite a bit because I really am not loving that green cast that I seem to be getting. I'm actually going to stack this adjustment. You can tell that the vignette is a little bit stronger at the top. That's just a natural vignette from the lens. So I'm going to click new on the adjustment brush and I'm actually going to pull down on the exposure just a little bit. And this time I'm gonna pull down on the flow quite a bit so I can build up that this adjustment. And what I'm gonna do is just brush over these corners in order to even out that natural vignette that was occurring. I did apply lens correction and that eliminated much of that vignette, but it's still kind of there. In fact, why don't we take a look at that? Let's press K to drop that tool and come down into the lens correction panel. And if I turn that off, and then on, you can see how much of that vignette that it actually got rid of. And I think this looks much better. Let's take a look at the overall before and after. One last thing I'd like to do is just pull up on the shadows a little bit and pull down on the highlights. I think that looks amazing. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.